From the nation's capital, Mutual Radio presents The Larry King Show, Network Radio's most listened to coast to coast talk program, featuring guests from around the world and calls from all across America. And now, Network Radio's number one interviewer, Larry King. Thank you, Fred Larry, and good evening, everybody. On this Friday night, Saturday morning across America, this is the Larry King Show, coast to coast on Mutual. Our very special guest tonight, and we'll meet her in just a moment, is Sarah McClendon, who heads the McClendon News Service, an operation here in Washington since 1944. She is one of the finer Washington correspondents, and everyone in America knows her who has ever watched a presidential press conference. Sarah McClendon in a moment. We must tell you that tonight we are honored to have the auspices of C-SPAN, the Cable Satellite Public Affairs Network, with us in the studios here at the Mutual Broadcasting System. C-SPAN is the nonprofit arm of the cable industry. In fact, it was cable created to help meet public service. And you all know, those of you with cable know C-SPAN, that it bills itself as television up by and for the people in that it uh, brings you the sessions of the United States House of Representatives every day. And once a year, C-SPAN comes here and tapes this program in its entirety, both the Open Phone America portion and the interview with the guest, and shows it when Congress is out of session, so it plays quite a few times on the network. We will also guest on the Cable News Network next Friday night. So many of you will be hearing this tonight, many of you phoning in, and those of you with cable and access to C-SPAN will, at regular times in the next couple of months, be watching this on C-SPAN, the Cable Satellite Public Affairs Network, and we're proud to welcome them to our studios. Next Monday and Tuesday night, we'll come to you from New Orleans. It's the National Association of Broadcasters Radio Programming Conference. I also want to thank the folks at the Buffalo Bills Radio Network. It was my honor tonight to serve as guest uh, commentator on the Bills broadcast, a Bill victory over the Redskins. It was a lot of fun back in the booth again after doing the Miami Dolphins for many years down in Miami. We welcome to our microphones the irrepressible, the incredible. If we did not have her, we would have to invent her. <laughs> Sarah McClendon of the McClendon News Service. It is nice to see you again. Nice to have you on. We're, we're being simulcast now. That's very nice. So Glad to be here. You're not made up, and I'm not made up. We're just <laughs> winging it as it happens. Well, how did this all start for you? How did you become, how did the McClendon News Service happen? Well, I came to Washington on the orders from the... Army. I was in. The, I was a WAC in '43, and they came needed some job done at WAC headquarters in public relations. So I had to come. I was you scared were to death. Here. Yeah, I was assigned. Here. I was scared to death. And after I got here, I found out I just been made a first lieutenant. <laughs> and you did public affairs for the Women's Army Corps. Yeah. And, and then what? Mustard and then out? I then I got out of the service in '44 and immediately started working as a covering news for the first for the Philadelphia Inqu uh, Philadelphia Daily News and covering Congress and uh, the White House. I soon got a White House pass and I've had one ever since. And how did McClendon News Service start? Well, I really started uh, after a lot of working for individual papers. I started my own service about uh, in 1946 and I've been go doing that ever since. It includes, it's an umbrella to include print media, radio, TV, and uh, newsletters and lecturing and anything and I do a national column for the Continental Press Syndicate now that's a recent thing in recent years now would you explain how your news service works it's available to whom it's how available it? to, to all clients all people who need uh, n uh, legitimate news service it's a uh, uh, news stories and uh, radio and television news Whereas coverage. You feed every day stories to papers <coughs> around do. the country. I do. Radio and television mm -hmm. stations. Yes, and I do also. Um, I write a column now on national matters, which is largely an investigative matter. It's called Sarah McClendon's Washington, and uh, it's uh, where I try to simplify and humanize the big issues so that. Anybody who on the street will pick it up and understand what's, what a big issue is. And that is sold to newspapers. That's right. Uh, is there a certain area of the country you're most read in? Is Texas the one? Um, that um, southwest and west and midwest, but not so much in the east. I have done east as an individual correspondent in the past. So, but there are papers in the southwest that get your copy, papers that get your column. Yes. And listeners to radio stations yes. who hear you. Do yes. you do a daily report? Yes. Where are you? Do you have the microphones and everything set up in your office? Yes. And how do you feed it out? By satellite, phone by, line? <clears throat> no, by telephone. Telephone largely, through the telephone. In, in, in a, you're your own operation, mm -hmm. in other words. That's right. And people work for you. 
Yeah, uh, very not nearly enough people working for me. No, <laughs> I how largely do it myself. But I now have a new partner, Todd Robinson, who's helping me, and I'm very glad to have him. How did you get the idea to start a service of your own? I mean, um, most most people it was, it work was for a newspaper by necessity and uh, also convenience. I worked. I had the uh, delightful uh, relationship with an old-time Washington correspondent named Bascom Timmons. And Mr. Timmons had a number of people working with him, but a lot of them had gone off to war, and that's how women got started in Washington, was when the men were off at war, and that's when I got my chance. I'm not kidding myself. I probably wouldn't have gotten the chance if it hadn't been for the men off at war. So when they started coming back from World War II, they needed their spots back, and it was getting really crowded. And uh, my dear friend, Mr. Timmons, said, well, you ought to be an independent woman. She ought to be able to make your own living and care, have your own... Uh, bureau. May Craig was a longtime Washington correspondent. She'd done well th this way, and he said, you ought to be like May Craig. So he helped me get started, and some other people did, and I had a few clients on my own, and so I branched out. It was a wonderful thing to do because, and I love it because I've been independent all these years, and I don't have to, I'm not beholden to any network or any one mm. big organization, and they can't tell me to shut up and sit down and be quiet. I can do anything that I think I ought to do, I can do. When you started, there were not many women, were there? That's, there weren't many women at, at presidential press conferences. How many? Uh, there were about three who regularly asked questions, three to five. Boy, you were really in the forefront of all of this. Well, um, it took a lot of nerve, and I, at first, I was very frightened. I didn't ask a question of Roosevelt at his last, I was in his press conferences in the last days, but I was really afraid of him. <laughs> really? And then it started with Truman. Though. And then I started with Truman. The uh, delightful Sarah McClendon, there is a tendency around the country to have a lot of fun with Sarah because she always asks very pointed questions of presidents. It should be also reported to those who know her. She's one of the best reporters on Capitol Hill. Sarah McClendon of McClendon News Service will talk about Sarah McClendon's Washington and her approach to White House press conferences. I will tell you that people are starting to call in already, and if you'd like to talk to this wonderful lady, a member of our great business, the area code is 703-685-2177. That's area code 703-685-2177. You can start calling in now. If you get a ring, let the phone keep ringing. Our guest is Sarah McClendon. We'll be back after these messages. How about one more of these? That looks like a good book. Is it? It looks like it. I haven't read it, have you? No. I just left it today. <laughs> <laughs> 